everyone could please join me, he's coming standing, please. I want your chest up, shoulders back, feet right underneath your hips, toes pointed straight ahead. I want you to inhale through your belly, inhale, expand your belly out like you're filling up a balloon. Exhale, belly all the way in. Inhale, expand your belly out. Exhale, belly in. Big inhale. And exhale. Big inhale, presence. Exhale, any frustration, anxiety, worry that you may have. Inhale, presence. Exhale, any anxiety, worry, depression, illness. Inhale, inhale, health. Exhale, any anxiety, worry, doubt. Everything I do is to connect, encourage, love, forgive, empower others. Come back to the basics and follow the voice of God so that others can overcome their challenges and find their true purpose. Thank you, you may be seated. That statement I just shared to you is, is my purpose statement. So everything I do is to connect. Everything I do is to encourage, empower one another. And so me being here and you being here allows me to fulfill my purpose. And with that, I acknowledge you and I thank you for joining me today. Thank you for allowing me to live my purpose. I want to thank God for creating all of us, creating the heavens and the earth, creating why we're here today. I also want to welcome the presence and for us to be present, for us to sit up tall, chest up, shoulders back, to have a nice posture. The purpose of today's talk is for us to come as a community, for us to bring awareness to ourselves, to bring consciousness to ourselves, and to really bring what's important. My purpose here today is to remind you of some things that you already may know. Maybe some things that you're not living out currently right now in your life. Maybe you are excelling in everything that we may be talking about here today. I'd like to ask anybody, is anyone eating raw, raw vegan? Okay. So obviously there was something that propelled you to come here, rather it be that, or maybe me inviting you here today. Or whatever it was, again, I thank you. I want to take the time to thank all my mentors that mentored me. I want to thank my father, my mother, who bared me. I'd like to thank you for being here. And again, I'd like to thank God. Before I jump straight into the, the meat and taters, my friend Daniel would call it, I'd like Mammoth to join me up here. Um, I've actually asked him to uh, share a little bit of a flow, a little bit of, uh, of his um, artistry. Mammoth and I have uh, had some really cool experiences together connecting with one another. And Mammoth has a huge passion of expressing himself through poems, through rap, through rhythms, through just his voice. And I wanted to not only have myself be up here, but I also wanted to have this opportunity to bring Mammoth up here to speak his voice and to speak his truth and what really resonates with him. A big also purpose of today is to inspire you. A big part of my purpose is to inspire one another and to inspire however way that is through my actions, through my voice, or through other people. So with that, Mammoth. Thank you, Andrew. I like to freestyle, so I'm just going to conjure some words together and the nature of what we're going to discuss today and my knowledge of it and just share some love. You know that we got this. 
like a billion probiotics inside of our system that's going to be able to get these cells dividing within so we can actually get the sublimity, the sublime, the sublimation of all these elements combined, all the particles in the earth inside of our minds so we can feel good, we could arise, we can get ourselves and our soul to understand that what is understood is how we've awoken to this moment to be awakened, we can give thanks then, we can thank them, we can thank God, we can thank our families, everyone on this planet because we are here together, we are humanity, we have gathered, every element of life is equally important. So these enzymes that we're putting in our bodies, we can't distort them. We send them love and gratitude. We thank you very much. That's the way the planet moves. 13 moon cycles on the turtle shell's back. I got that reminding myself to never lose that inside of my soul, to be able to understand that's where I carry with me, and I have a goal to reach it. And I appreciate Andrew Annunciation for being able to seek it. He's a homing beacon. He's a light beacon, and he has made it to this moment. So we give thanks and the gratitude for this place that we have chosen, and papayas and all these wonderful people, the suppliers of these healthy new nutritious, the raw food over there that you can get it. You can get everything you want because it's delicious, right? You know what I'm talking yeah. about, man. We get this, we got this, and I'm wondering about these wonderful green and gold bottles. It's going to be awesome. Thank you very much for being in this place. Now I'm going to sit down and walk in at the same time, both times, like my name is Christopher. Maybe I was Christopher walking in a past life, but I can't speak like him, but I don't have a jackknife. All I understand is that we can stand with our backs upright and give our thanks and then be like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I think that expression of, of him is a big inspiration for me. You know, you can label it whatever you want. Raw vegan, personal trainer, a rapper, a poet. But it's really all of us coming together as one. And all of us expressing our gifts and our abilities. Because you can be the best you you can be. That's truth. Only you can be the best Dorothy you can be. Only you, Jeremy, can be the best Jeremy you can be. I also want to thank Papayas for allowing me to be here today to, again, fulfill my purpose. And it was so cool what Mammoth said about all the, all the health stuff here. I mean, without all this health stuff that we can benefit our life and benefit our bodies, you know, this wouldn't be here, and this opportunity wouldn't be here as well. big on inspiration, telling stories, relating to you. My grandpa, my dad's dad, he passed away about a few years back um, from liver cancer by drinking too much, smoking, smoking weed, and just really, I, I saw his life just crumble down into pieces. And it's a good reminder for all of us where you know, we can prevent any of that sickness, any of that illness by our choice. I want to let you know that you have a choice every day. You have a choice to get out of bed. You have a choice to grab the carrot. You have a choice to grab a salad. You have a choice to drink a gallon of water a day, to hydrate. You have a choice to get eight hours of sleep. Well, depending on what time you wake up in the morning, what time you go to sleep. So inspiration, talking about inspiration. I'd like to share my experience and my story becoming raw, raw vegan. And again, you can put whatever label on it, but it's coming back to the basics. Coming back to Earth, Mother Earth. Coming back to nature. And I was eating healthy. I was, uh, I've, been pr I've been in fitness for eight years. And you know, ate the chicken, ate the lean, ate lean meats, and ran marathons, half marathons, triathlons, uh, did mud runs, and competed in so many different things. And saw my, bo my body crumble. I literally was, my body was maxed out. I went to chiropractors, I went to doctors, and, and people were, these doctors were telling me that I was actually going too hard, too fast on my body. That my body was actually in such a breakdown state. So I took it easy. I kept eating what I was eating, but I kept it easy. I went to a retreat here in Kauai, in Kilauea, 
and I had a raw vegan individual that showed up. He was raw vegan 100% for 13 years. His name was Dan McDonald. This guy was 39 years old, no wrinkles around his face, and I was like, dude, what are you drinking? What Kool-Aid are you drinking, man? Have you ever met anybody that like looks so young and he was old? Anybody? Yeah? I met this guy yesterday. He was like 50 years old. He looked like he was like 30. So I said, Dan, like, what's up, man? What are you, you needing? What are you what are you drinking, man? I want whatever you're having. He's like, man, raw vegan, dude. Raw vegan. You gotta do it. And I was like, okay, so you know, what's the purpose of it? What's you know, why? So he had me go on a cleanse. It was coconut water, celery, cucumber juice all day, and at night I had a raw vegan salad. It was probably one of the best days of my life. I had energy. I didn't feel heavy. I didn't have a lot of gas. Sometimes you ever have those days where you're just like farting all day? I don't know about you, but that was me. Like I, I, I had some gas and I'd be like farting all day. And like I had friends like, man, you gotta take these probiotics. Like you gotta like, you gotta, you gotta fix that. So I met some, I met a friend of mine out here actually at Papaya's. His name's Mitch. Anybody know Mitch? Yeah. A couple maybe you maybe man, just one. So Mitch, I was just talking to him for a little bit, and uh, he's like, yeah, man, I'm raw vegan. And I'm like, oh, you raw vegan? I'm like, what do you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I want to see. So for a complete day, he took me grocery shopping. He told me what to eat for breakfast. He told me what to eat, what he eats for snack, lunch, so on and so forth. I applied that into my life, and obviously, through that, I adjusted accordingly. Has anybody ever had cancer? Or has anyone not known that had cancer? Raise your hand, please. Two people? Or known someone that's had Yeah, or known somebody had cancer? So, I met this individual yesterday. Uh, his name's Bale, and uh, he works for the monastery, the Buddhist monastery up here. And I was talking to him about, like, I'm, I'm, hey man, I'm having this raw vegan talk, man, I hope, hope, hope you can make it. And he was telling me that he once had cancer, and he actually juiced a specific recipe and juice, no fruit without the sugar, and his cancer is now gone. Now, with this story, I want to bring consciousness and awareness to yourself and inspiration as well. Because all of us know that we have doctors, we have people that are taking medications for things, and I'm sure maybe those medications are perhaps accessible for some, but some may be taking the chemo and all this stuff that's actually killing their bodies. Where in return, they can be doing something healthy, juicy, something that's straight from the ground that actually God created us to eat instead of that. So again, some of these things that I may tell you is might just be a, a reminder for you, since you already know. But why eat raw? The purpose of eating raw? Number one, I mean the live foods. It's life. It's 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 full of life. Um, if you imagine that you cook something, cook a meat, or, or cook anything like that, is it alive? Is it is it full life? Is it full energy? I mean, I really want you to imagine. Close your eyes for a second, and imagine that life from that fruit, from that vegetable, just just plucked from the ground. Now imagine that 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 chicken or that cow that. Now we're not saying chicken and cows are a bad thing and eating that is not a bad thing, but just imagine that process and then cooking it and how America and how the world treats animals nowadays. And now open your eyes. Raw foods gives you intense energy. I'm telling you this right now. If you want to have more energy than you ever have in your life, this is the place to go. Farmer's market.